What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is uh, Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing another video. Today I'm bringing a video on Power Rangers Ninja Steel. For those that are wondering, yes, I am talking about Power, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Now you may be thinking to yourself, it's kind of weird to be talking about it right now, but there has been some recent merchandise that's been showing up in certain stores. Uh, usually nothing in the US per se. Most of it's been in Australia, which is where you tend to find this stuff early. Um, does that mean that we're not going to get, get it soon? It means that we're going to be getting it probably in the next month or so. But the fact that we know of it and it's showing up in stores, even if it's in Australia, which is where they always get it first pretty much, um, still means something and that way we actually know what we're getting. Um, so as far as things go, there are new Power Stars being released um, for those that are interested in that. I don't really get those. But if you um, buy those, then this might be worth something to you. Um, they're doing a, the the big ones that might be interesting are Power Rangers Samurai Team Star, Power Rangers Super Mega Force Team Star, Red Lightspeed Rescue Ranger Star, Red Time Force Ranger Star, w Red Wild Force Ranger Star, Red SPD Ranger Star, Red Super Mega uh, Super Samurai Ranger Star, and uh, Red Mega Force Ranger Star. Um, <laughs> And then there are more stars planned for Wave 4 later this year. Uh, of course, there might be even more stuff when the next, when Super Ninja Steel comes out, but those are the new Power Stars. Now, as far as other stuff goes, um, there's also new Ninja Training Gear. Now, personally, I don't know many people who actually buy the Ninja Training Gear, but it it's, it looks interesting. Um, and it also there's also a new uh, Mega Battle Station. Um, as far as the ninja training gear, uh, they include a triple sickle and a ninja star dagger set, which is interesting. And also a, and also a double dagger and battle axe set. So those are like the training sets that they have. Additionally, for the, uh, battle station, they have a mega morph DX claw battle station, which looks interesting. Uh, not something that I expected at all and again most most likely these will not be something that will ever show up necessarily in the show although when it comes to the training sets we actually have seen them appear like just for a moment in like i think the first the second episode of the show but my guess is we're not going to really see them on a regular basis but that could be completely wrong and maybe we'll find out later on that they are used um as far as other stuff goes when it comes to new merchandise um, they did reveal that two new Megazord, uh, Megazords have shown up in stores, which include the Bull Rider Megazord, which is the, which is Gold Ranger's main Megazord, um, Megazord, which, uh, you know, includes, uh, his, the mini, the little figure that goes into it as well. And the, it looks pretty awesome. And then additionally, we also got the Astro Ninja Steel Megazord, which in Japan was the UFO. Uh, the UFO Maru uh, Ninja Star or whatever. So um, again, when it comes to the Astro Nin uh, Ninja Steel Megazord, basically it's just the same thing with a repaint and uh, just some added details here and there, but more or less so they're reusing the mold rather than making it so, so it's something you can just attach onto your basic Ninja Steel Megazord, which of course to me, annoys me because personally I wish that they had done it the way that they t that they should have done it which is they should have made it so that it was an attachment it wasn't something it wasn't where you had to buy an entire megazord just to have it see because then you're spending at least 30 some odd dollars for something like that every single time and so like for example if you buy you know the rumble tusk this and the ninja show megazord you're spending at least 90 dollars or something like that that's absurd so, um, yeah, that's my opinion, uh, but as far as the Bull Rider Megazord, definitely worth getting. It's just, I feel like the Astro one, I, it's not that I hate it, it's just that I hate the fact that they decided to do it that way, where they decided to separate them, and they really should have just made it so that it was like an attachment, like it was done in Japan. Um, as far as the Bull Rider goes, it does combine with the Ninja Steel Megazord, which is very cool. I do not know whether or not it combines with the Astro Megazord, uh, Megazord Formation, probably not, but you know, since it's a repaint, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some way to actually do it because of that, and also Zord Builder, so that's another point to remember. 
Uh, but, you know, when it comes out and people start, uh, you know, looking at it, uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out as well. And uh, for those who don't know about the uh, the Bull Rider Megazord, it also comes in two modes. It comes in the, the, the mode that will probably be shown as the image for it. And then there's also a vehicle mode, which has it, has it uh, uh, like, uh, you know, laying on the ground with wheels and everything. It looks more like a... A, ve a vehicle, um, like a bull, a, a bull bike, basically. So it's pretty cool. Um, as far as when the show obviously comes out, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, this merchandise is coming out, but then when's the show coming back? August, of course. So that's still good, and it is showing that they're not like forgetting the franchise exists. It's just you know they're starting to put product back into stores, even if it's going to be early. And you know if people get it early, then maybe they'll remember the show and. It will help towards getting people hyped for when the show returns in August. Um, as far as other stuff goes, um, not too much else is new. I just wanted to just bring up those couple of points for those that are wondering about any new merchandise that's shown up for the franchise. Um, not too much, you know. Uh, one thing I've seen has been. Uh, uh, the uh, Power Rangers movie Megazord costumes and and um, uh, uh, movie uh, Ranger costumes for Halloween. Yes, they've started putting those out early, but uh, for those that are interested in buying those, yeah, you can buy them now, I guess. And there's been a couple other things shown off, like uh, there's an exclusive uh, key chain set that they're releasing for San Diego Comic Con, which is cool if you're a, if you're a keychain fan definitely not uh, one of the cooler um exclusives for power rangers because um probably one of the cooler i mean there's been a couple of really good exclusives like the uh the legacy like 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 the, like the um the special um legacy 24 karat gold we uh, like uh, weapons and toys that they've sold in the past that are like really expensive that they've sold at like conventions those are are, are really great exclusives or the uh, special limited edition um red ranger legacy figure that they did with the power sword those are cool this is not bad but this is definitely one of the less interesting to me but i just wanted to bring that up um, but, you know, overall, I wouldn't say that I'm complaining. I just feel like, you know, th th this stuff is what I expect. It's just there's nothing that's like, oh, my God, I have to get this tomorrow. You know what I mean? So um, I just wanted to give you guys uh, uh, my opinion on this. If you are interested, definitely worth getting um, some of this stuff. Um, oh, just forgot. Uh, the Metallic uh, Legacy Mighty Morphin uh power rangers figures have started to release so you might be able to find those in some stores apparently they have been found so that means that and you may be wondering what is the difference between these my morphin um, legacy figures and the previous ones so for those who don't remember the previous ones um were made to work as a Zor as a uh build a megazord uh situation where each figure had one part of the megazord and if you got all the figures you make a full megazord in this case, um, these are a little different. Um, apparently, uh, they're gonna work in, in a way where they actually are gonna come with weapons rather than me uh, rather than Zords. Now, as I've said in the past, my biggest complaint with that is it was kind of dumb because in reality, they should have just made it so that you got, got the Mega Zord piece and you got their weapon, not make it so that we have to spend an additional $20 and instead, make it so we're spending twenty-five, maybe thirty dollars on the at the most, rather than uh, paying premium for two sets of the same figures. The only difference is weapons and metallic design. That's about it. So, if you're interested, cool. If not, please remember this also for those that are wondering: are the weapons any different from like, like what are the weapons? These weapons are the same ones that you got from your basic uh, classic figures that you might have seen from prior sets for the Mighty Morphin figures. Um, so don't expect it to be anything that's like brand new weapons. These weapons have been used in previous sets before, non-legacy wise, but they have been used. So don't. So if you have like other uh, weapons from uh, previous uh, po Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, like the the, the uh, 
the more the last set of my Morphin figures that they released prior to this, then those should work with it. If you know what I'm talking about, I, I'm sure I, I might have an image, or you might, or, or, or something that will uh, give you a clue as to what I'm referring to. Because that set of figures, uh, those weapons are basically supposed to be pretty much the same. So it's not like you're really getting anything that new, unless you really, really want to get it with those metallic figures, which it's just the same thing with a slight detail change. Up to you. Love to know your guys' opinions. Are you guys interested in the, the new figures, uh, the new Megazords, the new Power Stars? Which stuff are you hoping to get when they come out soon? And which stuff have you actually purchased so far, if any of these items at all? Uh, leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 71, and goodbye, guys.